Michael Shannon, nice to see you, buddy. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming back. Uh, this yeah. is the last time. Uh, <laughs> now you. Uh... <laughs> Uh, hey, happy early Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is next week. Are you excited about Thanksgiving? Do you cook? Um, I'm not much of a cook, no. It's funny, I was watching the, uh, the game that, oh, yeah. that you guys were playing. Yeah. That kind of reminds me of, uh, like, me in, at the fridge. Because what I'll do is I'll open it and I'll think, well, what in here is about to expire or is about to get, go into garbage? And I'll try and make, mix it up and make something edible out of it. So that, because I hate wasting food. You, know? you do, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. So you don't enjoy, do you, do you, do you enjoy Thanksgiving? I do, as I, I can't do any of it. I mean, I can't, can't do, cook or no, 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 I can't. Really? It, it, none, none of it. There's not even like some little, it's like, well, Mike brings this. I don't know, I don't bring anything. I don't, I don't you don't even bring stuff? No. But what if like a, a canned food? I'll bring like some cash, if you need some cash. I'll leave an envelope of cash so you, you, on the You table. come to my house for Thanksgiving yeah. and leave an envelope of cash. There you cash. go. Happy Thanksgiving, Jimmy. <laughs> Let's keep it in the family, Let's keep okay? it in the family. What does that All mean? Right. I don't yeah, know what yeah. that means. I don't either. But you must know how to cook. I mean, you have, you have children. You... Well, fortunately, my older child is 10, and she's, she's learning how to cook herself. She starts... Uh, <laughs> I understand. Now. She's taking over. Yeah, she said, enough's enough. Because basically, uh, yeah, I can make, like, an egg. Well, that's good. And broccoli. I can uh, boil... Well, I try not to boil it too much, because you want to keep all the... new. You know, broccoli is really one of the more nutritious foods you can eat. <laughs> It has, it has pretty much everything you need. Is that right? It's a, it's a great source of calcium. And this is not a plug for broccoli, by the way. It's not, this is not part of You're some here deal from the, yeah, from the broccoli, broccoli farmers. So, yeah, 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 it always happens on our show. Somebody yeah, comes, yeah. You know, they pay Plugging. these, they give them like an envelope full of money, and they go, yeah. go talk about broccoli. broccoli. Keep it, Get it out keep, there. Yeah, keep it in the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but you, you were from, originally from Kentucky. I am, sir. I'm originally from Kentucky. And you visited there uh, uh, recently. Yeah, the... I, I was part of this amazing thing. Uh, this fellow here in New York, uh, Pete Solette, uh, started this thing called the Hometown Project. And it encourages people who have a little bit of notoriety to go back to their hometowns and get people excited about local elections and voting. And so I went back to Kentucky and uh, played some music with some, some folks I play music with, and then we would have local candidates come up and talk. And, uh, That's fun. It was, yeah, it was really, you know, because I was kind of feeling like I wanted to do something, you know, and uh, it's, a, it's a really uh, positive way to do something. There's no negativity in it whatsoever, although it it... most of the people I supported lost, but, uh, but uh, it's okay. Yeah, as long as people went out and, and voted. You know, yeah, you know. well, and, and one of the guys had a great attitude about it. He's like, this is just the beginning. I know I'm up against it right now, but I'm not going to give up. And it was a beautiful thing to see. It was very, uh, yeah. Uh, I want to talk about your, your projects, because you're in two cool things. Uh, quickly, I want to talk about this Friday. Purgatory? No, just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Room 104. Room 104, yes. Uh, that's by the, uh, the brothers, the uh, Duplass Yes, brothers? but, but uh, the, the, the woman who wrote and directed my episode is a woman named Liza Johnson, who made uh, Elvis and Nixon. Oh, she yeah. directed that, and she's fantastic. She's so smart, and she wrote this really clever, interesting, funny script. And uh, it's about this uh, uh, Russian fella who uh, comes to the States... You know, the, the premise is that everything happens in room 104 at this motel. So this Russian fellow comes to the States because he uh, met this woman on the Internet, this American woman who works at, like, a, a veterinary clinic or yep. something. So they're having this Internet date in the motel room, and it's, it's pretty funny. Yeah. It's almost like a 90-day fiancé type of deal. You know that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe that's what you're into. But I uh, well, <laughs> let's talk about the... Uh, <laughs> Tell me about your other project, Litter Dr Little Drummer Girl. This is oh, that, this is like the Trump segment earlier. No, because you said litter, the Litter Drummer Girl. <laughs> well, as some, I thought it was a remake yeah. of the Mike. I love Litter, little, litter Drummer the, Girl was the, a big yeah. uh, hit. She goes around throwing trash everywhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you're, let's talk about uh, Little Drummer Girl. This yes, is sir. on the Hallmark Channel. Yeah, <laughs> it's a very touching the holiday movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's the no. little match girl. Uh, the little drummer girl is uh, 
Okay, so it's based on a John Le Carre novel. It's like a spy espionage type deal. Yeah, thriller. Yeah, although uh, like this, to... those are usually he usually says his novels in the, the the English milieu, but this is actually set in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. I am playing, believe it or not, a Mossad agent. I'd love uh, to yes. get these, these these roles. I mean, yeah. did they, how did you even? How did someone think that you would be? I have not the slightest idea. But when the phone rings, you know, I mean, so many people are desperate for anybody to ask them to do anything. So uh, I'm like, yeah, you want me to be in my... I'm just waiting. What's it going to be next? It's like, we would like you to play Dolly Parton. Are you, are you willing? <laughs> but I, would buy, I, I, I want to see you play Dolly Parton. I, I want to play Dolly Parton. I would Parton. believe you. I would think you would be a yeah. fantastic Dolly Parton. Yes. Yeah. But, uh, but here you are Working playing a Russian. nine to five. Wow. <laughs> Pretty good, right? It's frightening. It's, it's frightening. frightening. It's like I'm sitting right next to Dolly. You know? yeah, like yeah. I'm in Dollywood. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you do a, a Russian man and, and, this, uh, and the other thing on Friday on HBO. And then there's Israeli man. The and there's Israeli man in this yeah. one. And uh, you're great as both. And I oh, weirdly, and I know you, and I, yet I believe you in bo as both characters. And as Dolly Parton. And. On and on and on. Ah, I said. And it's on and on and on.